the Travel Lodge Maiden Stakes is next. Uh, this is another four more maiden three this week. Well, almost three more five furlongs. Arctic Watch, Alex Cherry at the top five orderly on Van Rensburg. Langley Streak, Graham Clutterbox, Summer in the City, Matt Cooper, April for Bet for David Robertson, Beyond Desire for Derek Hinton and Earl Woods for Padre Hogan. So just seven in this. Might I suggest that this race is moved to week one next season. And they're away and racing. So we've got two four miles on the opening week. We've already got two long distance races this week. And they're already over this. First one, we've got three if you count the part of Beachy, which is coming up tomorrow. So it's Elwood's in the lead. Then they're already at number two. And they're safely over that one with April Furbet in second. Arctic watches third. And the is having a little bit of a blip there, thinking there's an extra horse at the back. But there's not. <laughs> and they get into the fourth. And they're all safely over it with L. Woods in the lead for Padre Hogan. Then Arctic watches second. And they're pretty closely packed behind this leader. I feel all that keen it would seem to put any great pace to the race. That's not much of a surprise considering it's a four miler around Ascot. This will qualify you for a Grand National run, of course. I've been running a four mile race. I think it's only one you have to run in now. Maybe one time it used to be two, it may be two, I think it's only one. They get over the fifth. All safely over it. Plenty of opportunities throughout the season though. And if you're missing one, you can always jump in that Leon Van Rensburg race at Cheltenham the week before. So there's Earl Woods in the lead. From Langley Streak about four lengths back in second. And Arctic watches third as they get over the sixth. A mistake there by Alex Cherries. Arctic Watch over that fence that will be the last in a couple of circuits time. I'm going to go around twice more yet. And Ill Woods is in the lead, leading by four lengths to Langley Streak in second for Graham Clutterbuck. Then Fire Lord on the outside is third. The rest of them pretty tightly grouped. I'll say April Furbet is probably just the back market. But it's Hill Woods, showing away for Padre Hogan's had a decent start to the season. There's Langley Streak in second. Firelord back in third. Leon's currently in the lead. And the trainer's title. And number of wins as they get into the seventh. All safely over that. And that Josh will be tearing his hair out with all his seconds. Didn't like coming second, he'd rather come last than second, I think. But uh, quite a few seconds yesterday, and they're over the eighth. And Elwoods is in front from Langley Street, second, Firelord, third, and somewhere in the city on the outside is fourth. So they get to this ditch. They all popped over that one nicely. April Furbet is just made a little bit of a forward move into fourth place as they get into the tenth. They all got a really good jump there by Fire Lord. Seeing that one leap past Langley streaking into second, but Elwoods continues to lead. Fire Lord two and a half to three lengths. Oh, Fire Lord second, Langley Street third. Gap into somewhere in the city. In the red jacket, then April Furbet. And Arctic Watch in the orange sleeves. And finally, the many clouds colours of Derek Hinton on Beyond Desire. As they start the sweep. Towards the home turn. They've got this one to take first. And then we'll safely over it. With Elwoods in front. Well, they've got a couple to take before it. Well, they decepted me. Oh, decepted me. That's not a real word, is it? Decepted. Is it? Oh, I don't know. Well, it's not the word I wanted anyway. They get over the 13th. And as a fall of there, it's Arctic Watch is gone. So, nothing deceptive or deceptive about that. Right, watch is. Arctic watches out of it as they get over the next and it's been the greatest of starts of the season for Alex Cherry. I'm sure he'll pick up as the season goes on, but it's Elwood's in the lead now. We're starting the turn into the straight. With Fire Lord in second, Langley Street third, and then Sora in the City fourth. April Furbet is just in behind that one. And a gap of two or three lengths to the back marker beyond desire. The loose horse running on riderless. As they get to the 15th. 
and all safely over it. And then Elwood's continuing to show the way. Langley Street getting a little bit closer now in a second. I hope the jockey doesn't think this is the final circuit. And it's Elwood's in front. Fit in by two or three into this one. That's over it nicely. Just going back to the pack a little bit now. Somewhere in the city moves up on the outside into second. So they can't pass the stands then. Pass the cheap seats first and then pass the other ring with a totalisator aboard the big screen and the winning post. And now they'll swing out right handed for one more circuit of the Ascot track and Elwoods. It's putting the lead all the way. Leading by two to three lengths from Firelord in second, somewhere in the city on the outside is third. Then April Furbet and Langley Streak. And a gap of six then to Beyond Desire is just finding it a bit tough at this point in the race. Hill Woods isn't, she's bowling along quite nicely into this next one. Trumped it really well, Firelord made a mistake, so too did somewhere in the city. April Furbet has now gone through into second. He's been given. Langley Streak a bit of a breather. Still seems to be travelling okay though. Let's take it into the next. All over that one okay. With Beyond Desire getting a little bit closer at the back. The Elwood's continuing to lead only by a couple though to April Furbet as they cross that little pathway and head towards the next fence. It's another ditch. And over that one they go. All safely over it with Elwood still in front. April Furbet second. Fire Lord back in third, somewhere in the city has dropped off a bit now in fourth. Langley Streak is fifth as they get over the next, and then the back marker is beyond desire. They've got a mile still to go. And L Woods has been in the lead for all three of the miles they've run so far. While April Furbet in second, then Fire Lord is third. These three are just maybe pulling away from somewhere in the city and Langley Streak. Beyond desire still being scrubbed along at the back. Wanted to give up on that one. They've still got five fences to take. They'll take this next one. That leader got in close that time. That's the first time he's made a mistake. She's made a mistake that L Woods and it's allowed April Furbet to come in close as they get over the next. And it's L Woods in the lead. April Furbet is second. Here comes Langley Street. Now I said he was giving him a breather. He's now starting to go into overdrive as they get over that ditch. They've only got three more to take now then. And it's L Woods who's kicked on for home. L Woods comes over to third, last in the lead from Langley Street in second. April Furbet is third. Fire Lord caught a flat spot in fourth. Then somewhere in the city beyond his eyes out of it. But it's L Woods who's still three lengths clear of Langley Street in second. April Furbet is in third and Fire Lord four shortly between these then as they swing for home and now they've still got two to take. And it's L Woods putting the lead all the way and still four or five clear. Langley Streak isn't closing in second. Neither is April Furbet. Fire Lord after that one into the second last. The leader gets over it well, gets away from it well. April Furbet, a good jump, moves into second place. But it's L Woods coming down towards the final fence, looking like she's probably only got to jump it. April Furbet is getting closer though. L Woods comes down to the final fence then in this four mile maiden chase. And it's L Woods in the lead from April Furbet who's getting closer. Over the final fence they go and they both jump it well. And Elwoods, I think, has got enough in the tank. There's still a furlong to go. April Furbet is getting closer. Elwoods hanging on. Here comes April Furbet. April Furbet beginning to eat the ground up. And April Furbet is beginning to get up on the outside. April Furbet is going to steal it on the line. April Furbet wins it from Elwoods in second. And then final third, Langley Street four. And then back to Beyond Desire and Summer in the City. And what a feel for Elwoods and Padre Gogan. They lead for four miles just about. Four miles less a hundred yards. And April Furbet, timed to perfection for David Robertson, has taken that one. April Furbet, the winner for David Robertson. Elwoods, a heartbreaking second for Padre Gogan. Final third for Leon van Rensburg. Langley Streak for Graham Clutter was fourth and Beyond Desire stayed on in the fifth for Derek Hinton.